I'm Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I forgot what I was gonna say about Goombella. Oh well! <laughs> Excuse me! Maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Well, I mean, it's possible. These woods aren't very big. She could be literally anywhere within them. Who knows? I don't know. Hello, if you're here, say something! Talk to yourself! You do that a lot, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, hello? Eek! Oh no, a screaming door! <laughs> no! Out of the question! You mustn't come in here! Uh-oh. Words. Madam Flurry, is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling, squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? How'd you hear that and not him speaking? How do you not recognize his voice, but you recognize his tiny, itty-bitty footsteps through a door? I don't understand. <laughs> it's been an age since I saw you last. You poor dear, is there something you need? Well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us with, I presume. <laughs> Out of nowhere. The great tree's entry hole is blocked. There's a stupid door we can't seem to open. My puny friends are inside, so they're in a pickle. No, puny, they're in a tree. Come on, now. Mario needs those crystal stars! It's a train wreck, really! It's a tree! <laughs> Come on! Even Mr. Watch knows! Granted, he should shut up, but at least he knows! <laughs> Come on, man! Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that! My adorable little Punio, you know I would do anything in my power to help. But, lamentably, I'm a bit in a bind myself. I cannot come out. Wow, what's the matter? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't seem to find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. How do you drop a necklace? Huh, a necklace. Where have I seen a necklace before? Nah, I got nothing. I'll be simply scandalized if someone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. Wow, okay. I totally know how you feel. When I go out, I'm all about the accessories. Goombella, you wear a hat and a scarf. <laughs> Hey, wait a second, you lost your necklace! I'm having deja vu big time. I swear someone just said they found a necklace. Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, I'm not gonna name your name because that would require text editing and programming for different characters. Or something. I don't know. Uh, do you know. How, do you have some clues about my necklace's whereabouts? Mm, if you do, you must help me, please. Find it and bring it back to me. If you could, I'd be delighted to help my squishy little friend Punio. But not me. You're just gonna help Punio? What, if there's nothing in it for us, what's the point? <laughs> Word is, Mario's super. You may not have heard of him. He's he's pretty uh, obscure. You can do it, right, Mario? Well, uh, no. <laughs> you just say, nah. <laughs> what's wrong with you? Let's go find her necklace. You're just gonna force me into something that I gain nothing for? Man, nobody in this game knows how to treat Mario with the dress the respect he so greatly deserves. Like, half the people don't even know who he is, and oh, this speaking of <laughs> Bell that I told you! Blaming me for losing the sketch, and you had it! Silence, you twit! Now is not the time to get hung up on stupid details. You must study this sketch. Or rather, we must. Go! Oh, hey, look. <laughs> wow, this Mario guy looks so manly. Check out that bushy mustache. How handsome. You know something, though? I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Oh. Well... <laughs> He's Mr. Mustache! No, my name is Mario. Come on, why does nobody know my name? This is the worst. <laughs> Vivian, this is without a doubt all your fault. 
Yes, okay. <laughs> Nobody goes through these woods, yet you see someone who clearly doesn't belong here, thinking that Mario might come by pretty soon, and you don't even raise an eye. Okay, whatever. I mean, I guess your hat covering your face like that. Actually, none of you can see. You have hat and hair and whatever. Something about strict punishment. You're the one that had the... You squirrel brain. Don't you cop that insolent attitude with me. Ugh, this is so not fair. About that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more. Aww. And since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump. Okay. Well said. You put that Vivian in her place. She did absolutely nothing wrong, and she should be punished for it. <laughs> it's pretty great. Uh, anyway, now that we have uh, done that, it's just literally like, hey, go to this place, now go back. Great. That, that is a flaw with this game, is that, like, there is a fair amount of backtracking going on in this game. And I'm, I'm aware of that, but, like, I don't know, I still like it a lot. Anyway, I'm probably gonna cut this battle out, because we've already seen this exact fight. I did it. <laughs> and now that I am the victor, I get all of the spoils. Uh, at least before they spoil. And that's the best way to get spoils. You want to get them before they spoil, because otherwise it's, it's not good. It just ain't good. You don't want any part of that. You just don't. Not. At. All. Um. I'm trying to think here. I may want to switch to Coops again. At least for this coming part. Because, uh, you know, things and stuff. Plus I have to go back through here. These uh, piranha plants will try to go where you are going to be. So if you kind of swerve around a little bit, you can pretty much dodge them fairly well. I mean, normally when I play this game, I tend to fight everything, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to kind of skip on by. Hey there, friends! Shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright for you to come looking for us! Well, I mean, you have that thing that we want, clearly. Your, your fancy hats. I like them, they're neat. I could put one on Coops. Maybe he'd be a better assassin that way. They're the ones with the... Hey, wait a second! What do you mean you've been waiting for Mario? That sounds suspicious. Are you assassins? Can you teach me the ways? <laughs> I have no squirrel with you. I know it's says quarrel, <laughs> uh, but I simply cannot allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Whoa, whoa, scary lady! How about how do you know about the map and the crystals? They're crystal stars, Coops. Come on. Have you talked to Princess Peach or something? Hey, now that I think about it, who are you anyway? Coops with the important questions. Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... Gah! Shadow Beauties! The three Shadow Beauties! Vivian, you nincompoop, what are you babbling on about? We're the Shadow Sirens! I don't see three beauties, I see two, and there's you and your plug ugly in red text! All right, sis, I'm sorry. It's just you call us lovelies, and... It's just a figure of speech. Gosh, do you not know the English language or whatever? Aw, oh, gee whiz, I hate being punished. Well, that's for later, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends. Let's do it! The might of the three Shadow Sirens will be more than enough to win the day. Okay, go! I don't know about that yellow one. She speaks the words of truth. <laughs> it is most unlucky that our sights are set on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Marilyn Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Go! Mm, yes, sis. I can't flee this fight! Alright, so we're fighting these guys. 
Part of the reason I switched in coops is mostly because he can do the power shell, which will go just go ahead and hit all three of them. I don't think any of them have defense, so this should do pretty good. Um, you know, just, just hit them for a bunch. I forget exactly how much HP they have. However, um, I'm trying to think here. Actually, let's, uh, let's go ahead and Quake Hammer. That might do a little more damage. Quaking the hammer, I can go ahead and do the Quake Hammer! Oh. I know the action command for the stylish is something along the lines of, like, the A button as soon as Mario's feet touch the ground again. I don't know. Guess it's time to stop toying with you, hmm? Alright, so Vivian, she's gonna try to use fire on you. Marilyn's gonna try to use gu on you. And that guy's gonna use ice. It's pretty great. And I'm very good at doing the action command dodges. Just so we're clear. <laughs> well, um, this is, uh... This is this is, this is going pretty good, I think. We're doing alright. I think we are doing quite okay. I think now is probably a good a time as any to use Earth Tremor. <laughs> so, Earth Tremor's the new special attack we got. You basically gotta press the A button in time with the little stars, you know? It's a it's very, very difficult thing to do. I mean, they, they add more stars and the timing is kind of random each time, so you know... It's a thing. It is indeed a thing. And it's also kind of hard to do while I'm talking and, you know, not really concentrating. But it's okay. I, I, I could have gotten, like, up to six damage, but, you know, five's good. I killed two with one sweep! Which is good, because I might have died otherwise. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of a thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw my shell at you, and you're gonna die. Oh, you didn't have that much health left either. <laughs> ah, fitting end to uh, proper wordsmith. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, maybe we're just too uh, a touch overconfident. Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps. We would have won if you two pulled your weight. You were one of the first to die, so, I mean, you know. Both of you prepare for world-class punishment session when we get home. Aw, she almost got the necklace. But it's mine now! That's Flurry's necklace. Let's take it back to her. Okay, I will do it. Uh, I guess I'll uh, go ahead and meet you back over there, assuming I don't die on the way there. Uh, in fact, you know what I probably should do? I have items and such. Why not actually use them? I'll go ahead and just give Mario some nice uh, shroom fry here. Sounds like a good plan to me. That'll restore some of my stuff. Restoring some of my... Anyway, yeah, I'll just meet you back over there. Because I kind of use the, uh, the shroom fry as a preemptive in case I get into battle sort of thing. I knew there was a heart block here, but um, I actually did get into battle on the way here. Uh, Except I got kind of lucky with various factors, like the ceiling attacking my foes for once. It was pretty great. <laughs> so, you know, we're back here now. It's all good. We got that necklace. We got that stuff. We got it. Here, Dora, have a necklace. <laughs> I found the necklace. I'm truly beside myself. Oh, but you mustn't see me. Please leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Okay. I'll do it, and just completely stare at the door as it opens, so clearly we'd see you, but details. <laughs> oh, my host so ravishing necklace, I'm a wash and joy. Uh, what? Oh. So this is what we're doing. Uh, meet Flurry! <laughs> Everybody's favorite character. Oh my word! Mario, isn't it? You are a heroic little necklace hunter, aren't you? Well, my, my, my. Aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. You saw me when the door opened, but, you know, details. I simply must thank you for your graciousness. Oh, but how do I do it? Perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar. Oh, please don't do that. Mario might be diabetic. You, you, you never know. Oh no! You're kissing my shoe! Why would you do that? Stop it! Oh, Mario, you're just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. You made him collapse by kissing his shoe. What the heck are your lips made of? I mean that for multiple reasons, really. 
Uh, you, yes, you are that. You, so tell me, are you truly looking for the crystal stars? Mm, the very same crystal star spoken of in all the low lifes in Rogueport. Wow, rude. <laughs> ah, danger filled. Search for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous. Hmm, here I was thinking how frightfully boring I was. A frightfully. Yeah, yeah, you are pretty boring. <laughs> Let's just go with that. Time for a change! Mm, besides, I do declare, that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. And Mario gets all the ladies without even trying. Even if he doesn't want them. <laughs> I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Uh, uh, I never agreed to such a thing, but... Flurry joined my party, I suppose. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> okay, well, that aside, Flurry allows you to blow wind on stuff. It's pretty great. You can make enemies dizzy if you do that, I suppose. You can also exhale continuously. I'm not even gonna bring up what Mario's doing. <laughs> this is, of course, Flurry's power. She can also body slam and battle squashing enemies with her stage presence, let's just call it. Mm, oh, yes, and then gale force to blow enemies away. Hooray, the most useful of party members. I really shouldn't say that. Flurry actually does have a fair amount of uses, but a lot of them are fairly situational, to be perfectly honest. But, I mean, yeah, she, she does have her uses. I guess uh, if I get into a battle, I can kind of go into further detail. But for now, she's just this big old blob of something following me. It's pretty great. <laughs> but now we get to backtrack all the way to the tree, so uh, I guess I'll, uh, I'll see you there unless I get into a fight or something. Yay. I got an email. As I travel, I get emails for some reason. Except I never read the first one. Isn't that message supposed to go away? Maybe I have to actually read the first one to get that to go away. I'll probably at least do that off screen so it goes away, maybe. Because I don't remember that ever popping up again outside the first time. But anyway, we made it to the tree! But how will we get inside? I don't know, man. We gotta find a thingy. Flurry can find thingies. Punio said so. So next time we're gonna find the thingy. <laughs> I'll see you later and goodbye.